Hello, my name is Fred Howard, President and CEO of Rapid Deployment Vehicle Arm Incorporated and the inventor of the Phoenix Centurion. As a former officer and sergeant for more than 17 years, it seems apparent that every 20 or so years, something truly innovative is presented to our law enforcement and military personnel as a tool to help them overcome the difficult, troublesome, and far too often fatal challenges which have graduated as consequences of policing in a post-9-11 world. In the 1970s, the proliferation and use of ballistic vests saved the lives of thousands of our police and military heroes here in the United States and around the world. In the 1980s, scenario planning and forward thinking virtually made the standard issue will gun a relic of the past. We can answer progress when it knocked at our door and felt the need to give them a fighting chance when confronted with felons armed with automatic weapons on the streets within our communities. We now issue them semi-automatic weapons and the notorious Hollywood shootings have only served to reinforce that commitment and preparedness to providing them with the best equipment possible. In the late 1990s, Taser International set a trend which did not significantly gain the attention of the law enforcement community until after 9-11, nearly 20 years after it was invented. And now we have entered into this new millennium and we simply cannot afford to wait another 20 years. The future is now. Maybe it will be the military, Chrysler, Ford, or another forward-thinking corporation or company. Time will shortly tell. I do believe one thing will be inevitable, and that is the Phoenix and Troy will set the standard by which law enforcement agencies judge the relationship with their police vehicles and with auto manufacturers, not only here in the United States, but in the global arena as well. Nothing costs more than a life loss. That is the mission statement of Rapid Deployment Vehicle Arm Incorporated. Now, what you're about to see is a short video animation of how the Centurion would be deployed to save lives. And I would also caution some of this material is based on actual critical events involving deadly force encounters with police officers and may not be suitable for young children. Some of the situations have been altered in order to emphasize a critical need for what I have termed a non-aggressive defensive apparatus. Times are changing and so must we. Rapid deployment vehicle armor is here to stay. And the Phoenix Centurion has already set that standard. I'm Fred Howard. Thank you, and God bless all our fallen heroes. All right, let's go. Let's move it out. Corporal, get your guys, get fresh platoon, get them over here. Let's go. We're moving out. No those centurions with no feet. We're expecting contact. It's going to get hot. Let's go, man. Let's go. Five thirty five Bravo coming twenty three at the bank. Seven eleven David. Twenty three. Copy. We have two units twenty three at the bank. Other units coming twenty three. Just put yourself out with the five three five units stand by for additional. Suspect is a possible white or Hispanic male. Caller advised that the suspect had a thick accent. Possibly Hispanic. Suspect five eleven. Two hundred pounds was wearing a black ski mask and a black long shirt and blue jeans, armed with an automatic rifle. 535 Bravo additional. Suspect armed with an AK-47 rifle. Fired multiple shots inside the bank. One victim, 901 Henry on scene. The other will be 17 to Good Sam. Suspect driving in black, newer model Montero. Vehicle observed last southbound on 44th Street from Thomas. Copy of possible plate, Arizona Robert, David, Victor, Adam, 123. All units copy additional. Arizona plate RDVA123, last seen southbound on 44th Street from Thomas Road. Suspect is a white or Hispanic male, 5'11, 200 pounds, black shirt, and blue jeans. Last seen driving southbound on 44th Street from Thomas towards the 202 in a black newer model Mitsubishi Monte. Okay, that plate RDVA123 confirmed. 487 Victor from Tucson. Looks like. Looks. It says. Vehicle taken yesterday in an armed carjacking in Tucson. Suspect armed with an assault rifle. 
Driver was apparently shot by our suspects. Same description on stolen hit as our suspect. Suspect is Sergio Sandoval. Looks like he shot the victim and... Finish it, George. Okay, uh, that suspect is Sergio Ramirez Sandoval. Possible deal B of 9-14-1980. He is also wanted for 451 when an LAPD officer occurred last week. Verify. 53 George. Advise that our suspect is also possible wanted for 451 on an officer in California. Stand by, verifying. Air 23 on for your 211. We got the info. We are uh, 23 in the area westbound from 52nd Street. That's, uh, can we notify DPS and 10B in case this guy is headed their way? 10 4. Mesa Air also 17. And we have Air 4 coming up from Deer Valley. Air 23, it looks like I have that vehicle southbound on 54th Street. Okay. This is CMT. He's getting on the freeway. He's uh, now westbound on the 212. Here he goes, guys. Unit 50056, slow down, you pass him. Let him come off the ramp. He saw you, he just slowed down. He's in the far right lane. Okay, unit 50056, you good. Let's stay behind him. Uh, he seems his speed is about 40. And I now have about five mark units in that group. 53 George, alright. Let's restrict radio traffic and let the air unit call it. Pursuit and spikes are authorized. Air 2 3. Alright, looks like he's going to take the uh, 30 seconds to get to the 520. George Lynch. We are lighting him up. He's not stopping. Speed 40 miles per hour. 523, George. 1033, 1033. Go ahead, 523, George. He's pointing at us. Shots fired. Shots fired. 53, George. All units fall back to a safe distance. Air 23, we got shots fired from the Montero. 525 George's vehicle is hit. 53 George, it's 525 George, code 4. 525 George, are you code 4? 525 George, I'm hit 906. 906 for 525 George, he's been hit. Fire is 17. I'm showing four units out with 525 George. Air 23, he's bailed out and he's running westbound through the Del Sol apartments at 3200 East Roosevelt. He still has the rifle. Be careful, guys. We need to lock down a perimeter. Let's have the first unit, two, three, take the northeast corner of the complex, the next southeast, and then why don't we have... 52 George, negative. He has an automatic rifle. I only want four chariots on the outer perimeter if possible. 53 George. 53 George, go ahead, sir. How many four chariots are we showing 23? I'm showing two chariots, 10 centurions, and 15 sentries, sir. Five three George, I copy. Call 400, 800, or any other precinct to see if we can borrow some chariots for a perimeter until an SAU team can respond with armor. 800 already has six, and 600 has 417. SAU team one, ETA is 30 minutes. 5-3 George, advise SAU, the suspect is armed with an AK-47 assault rifle, shots fired, we will be working the barricade, and they will need the armored vehicle. You're already aware, sir. SAU-1 is monitoring. They advised AVC will be one hour ETA from Southern Command. This is the Phoenix Police Department. You are advised to lay down your weapon and surrender. You are surrounded. All units, we have a 998. Suspect down.